And tonight, crews work to put out a huge fire at the Crossings Village Apartments over in Westlake. Yeah, police are telling 3 News right now that some buildings did have to be evacuated. Emma Henderson is live with the very latest this evening. And Emma, I understand, yes, they were evacuated, but there are some people that are displaced at the moment. That's right, Christy. We are getting the first numbers as far as the displacement. As of right now, we know that Building 7 was impacted. It has 22 units in it, and they believe that they are helping 35 people. That is the American Red Cross. They are working to help them find a place to stay tonight. I'm going to step aside so you can see the bucket is actually back up. We talked to the Westlake Assistant Fire Chief Freeman. He says parts of the building's floors collapsed. There's a lot of heat and smoke damage, but it's contained to that one building. They were rotating crews quickly because of the heat today. Now let's take a listen to a resident who says a firefighter showed up at just the right time as he was getting trapped in his apartment by the fire. If he wasn't doing that fire, it was like it was literally their drop off of a third floor balcony, which isn't going to end well for me or hope for the best, which clearly there isn't a the best there. So yeah, it was a hero for me. Now, Assistant Fire Chief Freeman wanted to make it clear that he is very thankful for the police who helped evacuate all the surrounding buildings that they were worried about potentially being impacted by that fire. Luckily, that wasn't the case. Christy, Carmen. Yeah, very grateful for those firefighters. Emma Henderson reporting for us live there in Westlake. Emma, thank you so much.